<gasps> oh, isn't that cute? Do you think I could hold it? Hmm. But, 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 Lily, what are you up to? Do you really want to give me to Mother Superior? I mean, she could do with a bit of pizzazz in her life, from the looks of it. But I thought the two of us are friends. We could try so many things. Come on, let's light a few things on fire. Or talk with Edna. Or build something crazy out of different stuff. Or, or... Do you really want to give me to Mother Superior? Uh-huh. Really? Really? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, Lily. <laughs> How can I ever make this up to you? I'm sure you want something to make up for it. Don't you? <laughs> Unfortunately, this knife is all I have. Do you think it would be enough? Uh-huh. Wonderful. Oh, thanks for everything, Lily. Well done. If you carry on like this, I can imagine hiring you as a deputy someday. Or I could hire you as a cosmonaut's assistant, which is even cooler than a deputy. Whatever. Just please, cut us loose, fast. Then we'll figure it out. I've already come up with a plan. I'm sure you know the story of the girl who ran away from Dr. Marcel's asylum long ago? The same girl that pushed him down the stairs that same night? Well, I never told you this, but that girl was me. What a surprise. Yeah, and that's why I know my way around here so well. Behind the cushion over there is the famous ventilation shaft that I used for my escape back then. We'll be free in no time at all. We'll have to get past Dr. Marcel's office first, but, um, Lily? Is something wrong? Come on, Lily. Cut us loose. Uh-uh. What's going on? You're not going to do something stupid, are you? Lily? Where are you going? Lily! Lily! Are you sure that's what you want to do? <laughs> Excellent. I knew right away that you're dangerous. The other children, those were accidents. But now, you're here with a sharp knife, ready to kill a helpless old man. You might feel well, but the truth is, you're sick. Very sick. You need my help. You don't believe me, do you? You think you're doing all this for Edna's sake. Oh, Lily. There's something you should know about your friend. She doesn't exist. There was a girl called Edna once. You probably once heard about her. But the girl that you know is nothing more than a figment of your imagination. An attempt to escape your friendless life at the convent. You think I'm lying, right? Because there's someone else who can also see Edna. Let me guess. A priest, perhaps? No. A policeman, right? The manifestation of a higher authority. When you thought that Edna was in danger, your subconscious invented him, too to legitimize defying Mother Superior's rules and helping your friend. Just ask her yourself. They're here. They're a part of you, Lily. Oh, Lily, I'm sorry. The doctor's right, Lily. You're just imagining us. Now put the knife away. The game is over. Wonderful. <laughs> Finally, you see the truth. All the reasons that brought you here, in the middle of the night, armed with a knife. None of them were real. Now put the knife on the desk. I'll hypnotize you immediately. Only my therapy can heal you. Unfortunately, he's right, Lily. Don't do it. Put the knife away, Lily. Be a good girl and do what you're told. Lily was close to tears. She had only just learned not to always do what she's told. 
and now it was supposed to be all wrong? While the others were talking to her, another voice kept getting louder. A voice that told her, Continue. Continue. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Put the knife away. Do what you're told. The others were right. Lily was apparently sick. She wasn't capable of deciding what was right or wrong. So she set the knife aside and began her therapy. Dr. Marcel had won. Maybe this wasn't the happy end you were expecting, but the moral of the story is you must always do what you're told. Always. Without exception. The end. Lily had no intention of undergoing therapy. She'd never felt so free before. She could decide for herself what was right and wrong. Slowly, she raised the knife. No! Lily! No! No! Maybe this wasn't the happy end you were expecting, but the moral of the story is... You can do whatever you want, as long as you keep your free will. Even if it means stabbing an old man in a wheelchair to death. The end. Um. Continue. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Put the knife away. Do what you're told. Stop. Continue. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Put the knife away. Do what you're told. Stop. Continue. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Put the knife away. Do what you're told. Very good, Lily. Let him have it. That goes for everyone! You've just been bossing me around this whole time! Lily, do this, Lily, do that, but get this! I'm not your lap dog! And you, Doc, if you want to hypnotize me, you'll have to learn how to walk first! Because that's what I'm gonna do now! Your therapy is garbage! Why don't you worry about yourself, Grandpa? Lily kept wailing until she was hoarse. Finally, exhausted yet relieved, she started heading back. For the first time in her life, she was doing what she herself thought was right. Maybe this wasn't the happy end you were expecting, but the moral of the story- And you 